Hey guys, I'm Matt, I'm the visual storyteller at BombBomb, and today we're gonna to be talking about that moment when your Gmail account achieves inbox zero. The business phenomenon where your inbox remains empty or as close to empty as possible. So you could take the gamble of just archiving all of your messages and starting from scratch, not recommended. Because without the right organizational tips, before you know it, your inbox will be flooded once again with new messages. How many emails would you say you receive each day? According to a report the average worker will receive or send 140 emails daily. In a typical workday, that's 17 emails an hour or one email every four minutes. Consider any personal or junk emails going to your work inbox and that number could easily top 200 emails each day. Imagine if you didn't have to waste all that time going through all those emails to try to figure out which ones are actually important. It might seem like an impossible task, but organizing your inbox can help you reduce stress and help you better manage your time. Here are five Gmail organization tips that can help you reach inbox zero and help you be more productive. The first step to organizing your Gmail is to select your preferred layout. When you open your inbox, select the gear symbol in the upper right corner and click on settings. And then on the top of the inbox window, click on the inbox tab. From here, Gmail gives you five layout options for your inbox. The default layout is the standard format that organizes your emails by date. In this view, you can select different categories in which your emails are placed. They appear as tabs at the top of your screen and can help you determine which emails are important. In the important first layout, Gmail tries to figure out which emails are the most important and put those at the top of the inbox. Your less important emails are displayed in a lower inbox at the bottom of the screen. The unread first layout is similar to the important first layout, except the top inbox has all the unread messages and the bottom inbox has everything else. The start first layout is also similar, but it puts your start emails in the top inbox. The priority inbox uses predictive analysis to determine which emails you're most likely to interact with and puts those in the top view. You can save time and organize your inbox by adding a reading pane. First, click the gear button on the top right side of Gmail, and then select settings from the menu that appears. Go to the inbox tab, scroll down to the reading pane section and check the box, and then use the save changes button to turn it on. On the left side of the inbox, you'll see a list of labels you can use to help organize your inbox. But did you know you can also create your own labels? If you select messages, you can click on the button at the top of your inbox that looks like a shopping tag. This allows you to assign those messages to predefined labels that Gmail uses to help keep your inbox organized. And you can also create custom labels by selecting create new label. You even have the option to color code your labels to further distinguish priority. For example, you might use red for a label called VIP where you put all the emails from your boss. You'll notice when you create a new label, it'll add it as a folder on the left of your inbox. So now when you archive this message, it'll move it to that specific folder. By customizing your options, it makes it easier to organize your Gmail and keep your inbox clean. After creating your custom labels, you can add filters to messages that send them directly to their folder, and that keeps them out of your general inbox. After selecting the messages you want to filter, click the More button at the top of the inbox and select Filter Messages Like This. From there, you can choose to filter messages by sender, subject line, keywords, among other things. After selecting your criteria, you click Create Filter with this search and select the action you'd like this filter to take, such as assigning to a custom label and skipping the inbox. When you're finished, click Create Filter. It's important to note that you can have the filter applied to all conversations that match that criteria, so you don't have to create individual filters for each one. Now that you've organized your Gmail, they'll automatically archive certain emails to custom folders. You can really clean out your inbox by archiving messages at the same time you respond to the email. To activate this feature, click on the gear icon and then settings from the drop down menu. Scroll down and select the show, send, and archive button in reply and then save the changes. Now when you reply to a message, you'll have two send options. One is a traditional send and the other will send the message and automatically send the email chain to the all mail archive. And if you assigned a label to that message, instead it'll go to that specific specific folder. If someone replies to that sent email, it'll automatically return the conversation to your inbox. Turning on this feature is an easy way to clear the clutter in your Gmail and keep your inbox clean. Inbox Zero won't just be an elusive dream if you follow these organizational tips. But just like any shortcuts, you need to find a system that works for you. If one of these methods makes it harder for you to keep track of important conversations, then try something different. Once you find the process that fits your daily routine, you'll reach Inbox Zero and your 
your inbox will be a well-oiled machine. That's all I have for today, but leave us a comment and let us know if you've already reached inbox zero and any tips you have that help keep your inbox clean.